I grew up with an older brother. I learned how to fight by fighting with my older brother. The problem with that is that you learn f fighting skills that aren't necessarily applicable in the real world. You know what I mean? Like, I can't be in a bar fight and just jump kick a guy in the back and then lock myself in the bathroom till my mom comes home from work. Like, what just happened? I don't know, that grown man threw a remote control at my nuts. And then he climbed a tree and refused to come down. He's the greatest fighter I've ever seen. <laughs> he threatened to lick my face. <laughs> my dad's crazy. He got sick of us fighting so much. And one day my dad said, oh, you two like to fight so much. How about you fight for real? And fighting for real, according to my dad, was making us put on winter gloves and box in the backyard while he sat in a lawn chair and watched. <laughs> Just clearly for his own amusement. My father is the Michael Vick of children. Who wouldn't pay to see two shirtless little boys <laughs> with tears streaming down their faces as they beat the shit out of each other with Transformers mittens? <laughs> my, my dad would just yell. He, he would just yell questions at me that had no answers. And I was bad. I, I got in trouble for smoking weed in eighth grade. And uh, I came home from school and my dad got in my face and he goes, uh, I made it through the Vietnam War without smoking pot and you couldn't make it through middle school. <laughs> what are you supposed to say to that? <laughs> yeah, sorry you were the only nerd in Vietnam. <laughs> I must have missed that character in Apocalypse Now. Why don't you live a little bit, Paul? I would have done heroin in Vietnam. You know how I know that? Because I've done heroin in Cleveland. <laughs>